a United Nations report condemning entrenched poverty in the United States is a misleading and politically motivated document about the wealthiest and freest country in the world, according to the Trump administration's ambassador to the world body UN. Ambassador Nikki Haley criticized the report for critiquing the United States' treatment of its poor, arguing that the United Nations should instead focus on poverty in developing countries such as Burundi and Congo. The UN report also faulted the Trump administration for pursuing policies it said would exacerbate U.S. poverty. It is patently ridiculous for the United Nations to examine poverty in America, Haley wrote in a letter to Sen. Bernie Sanders on Thursday. In our country, the president, members of Congress, governors, mayors, and city council members actively engage on poverty issues every day. Compare that to the many countries around the world, whose governments knowingly abuse human rights and cause pain and suffering. The rebuke comes two days after Haley announced the United States' resignation from the UN Human Rights Council over that body's perceived bias against Israel and toleration of human rights abusers in May. UN Special Rapporteur on Extreme Poverty and Human Rights Philip Alston released a report saying the United States has the highest rates of youth poverty, infant mortality, incarceration, income inequality and obesity among all countries in the developed world, as well as 40 million people living in poverty. Alston accused President Trump and the Republican Congress of deepening poverty and inequality in the country, citing the Republican tax law passed last fall. The policies pursued over the past year seem deliberate designed to remove basic protections from the poorest, punish those who are not in employment and make even basic health care into a privilege, Alston wrote in the report. Haley pushed back in Thursday's letter, arguing that the administration has created a strong economy that would lift people out of poverty and that Alston's report was premised on misleading statistics. Haley said the UN special rapporteur had categorically misstated the progress America has made in reducing poverty, but she gave no examples. I am deeply disappointed that the special rapporteur used his platform to make misleading and politically motivated statements about American domestic policy issues, Haley said. Regrettably, his report is an all-too-common example of the misplaced priorities of the United Nations. Sanders, who initially requested Haley's comments on the UN report, asked Haley to respond to statistics statistics showing more than 30 million Americans lack health insurance, more than half of older workers have no retirement savings and 140 million Americans struggle to meet basic living expenses. You are certainly right in suggesting that poverty in many countries including the Democratic Republic of Congo and Burundi is far worse than it is in the United States, Sanders said. But. As it happens, I personally believe that it is totally appropriate for the UN Special Rapporteur to focus on poverty in the United States. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments section below. You can also subscribe for more videos like these in your inbox. Share this video with your friends and family. Facebook's new algorithm changes have decimated the reach and the ad revenue of independent news sources like ours. Please become a patron of our news website and help us pay our writers by making a small contribution. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this video? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more at the best prices, please feel free to visit www.atthismall.com once again that is www.at this more.com If you are seeking the best in facial and clear skin regiments and products for women and men including an opportunity to earn residual income, please visit our partner at www.jdro.my rnf.com all links are in the description box below we have changed to a new youtube channel the link is in the description box below please subscribe to the new channel as this one will no longer have new videos and reports posted to it anymore